Guys, before we start today's video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and support that you guys have been showing and everything like that ever since I kind of hopped back on this YouTube, hopped back on YouTube and everything like that. Um, so since it's October and everything like that, um, I just talked to my co-producer, my helper, my, my partner in crime on the Spoop Show about only doing the spoop show once a year aka on in october the month of october because it's spoop show spooky scary all that fun stuff so that's the thing um that's just a little announcement before this video so let's jump on in good evening night or wherever we are time traveling today ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we are back with another review on a horror movie and today's horror movie that we are reviewing today is called the house that was built in october two not one two there's two movies i'm reviewing the second one what it basically is um you guys October, place for scary, spooky, everything, awesome, cannot wait. And basically, what it is, is it's talking about a group of six friends, five friends, sorry, five. Yeah, five friends that are going on a tour around the U.S. looking for haunts, haunted houses, everything like that going through seeing the best haunted houses and everything like that so today's video we are going to be reviewing that movie the second one and yeah so let's jump into it grab your teddy bears turn off the lights grab your blankets snuggle up tight because we are going to be reviewing something scary today ladies and gentlemen boys and girls today a house built in October 2. First thing, it starts off with five friends. Brandy, Bobby, Mike, Jeff, and Rick, I believe. I had to double check that. Um, five friends. And they are there hunting and looking at haunted houses, tourist, tourist attractions for Halloween. Brandy is one of the ones who doesn't want to do this anymore because of what happened to her in the first movie. Now, I watched the first movie a couple of years, like three years ago, and I don't remember exactly what happened, but it explains a lot of it and everything like that. Um, so yeah, so all that stuff happened, and then while all that stuff was happening, Bray, um, so the first incident happened in the first movie, and it became a viral thing. Everything because it was posted on YouTube. YouTube is a fun, fun place for everyone to post hilarious things about people being buried alive. Uh, disclaimer, I'm joking about that. Anyways, so it goes on. It, originally the four looking at places, and people in the haunt, the, and their producers are not willing to pay them unless... Uh, willing to pay for this tour and pay them unless they get Brandy on because Brandy is the girl that everyone wants to see because she is quote unquote called the Coffin Girl. So Coffin Girl, aka Brandy, has to decide if she wants to go on because if, the, if she doesn't go on this tour, her friends don't get paid and one, her friends don't get paid, two, it's just going to be a waste of time apparently. So, so finally Brandy says yes because they said, you know what, we're not doing any haunted houses. We're not going to do haunted houses. We're just going to go to do three, three things. And then if you're feeling comfortable enough, then we can go do other stuff. So Brandy's like, okay, whatever. She goes on with them and everything like that. And this is what I kind of really liked about the movie is that it built up. It wasn't really scary besides thriller and suspense and everything like that. Um, it built it built up to it. So they went to like a couple of hayrides, 
they went on a scary hayride, they went for a zombie run, they ate zombie brains, all that fun stuff, alright, they had all that fun stuff and excitement and everything like that, and so, as soon as, basically, after that, they're like, okay, we're gonna go to some haunted houses. And she's like, I told you guys, no haunted houses. And they're like, yeah, but, you know, we're just going to go to some haunted houses. That was really jacked up on the friend's part because they told her no haunted houses, no nothing. But they did it anyways. So, um, so Brandy's like, okay, fine, whatever. Screw you guys, all that fun stuff. And then they went to the haunted houses and everything like that. The first haunted house they went to, apparently... Brandy and Jeff got separated from the other three. Yes, got separated from, uh, from the other three. So the other, so Brandy and Jeff saw the first Skull guys from the beginning, from the first movie, and started freaking out and everything like that. And and so they went back to the RV. They start arguing and t saying this and saying that and that and this and this and that and everything like that. And then and then they finally agreed like we have three more haunts. By Monday, we're done. Okay? Just stick tight. Hold on with us, Brandy, until Monday. Brandy said, fine. Forget it. Fine. I'll just go. So they upped in. Uh, they got up and slept. While they were sleeping, another great part of this movie, They it, it basically played off of your anxiety and... And basically played a mind game with you, because throughout this whole entire thing, you're thinking, oh, they 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 went through the same thing that Brandy went through and everything like that, and all that stuff. Um, but true true thing true thing is, they didn't. And I'll get to that at, in a bit. Um, so. They went through all the same stuff that she went through and everything like that. So they're like, Brandy, we went through the same thing. We got put in coffins too and everything like that. Sorry, I hit my stand. <laughs> went through coffins too and everything like that. It's okay. Calm down. We're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. And then she's like, fine. And so they went to bed. They got basically kidnapped in the RV. Brought to this place called Hellbent. Now... Hellbent is pop. It was said seek Hellbent like four times in the whole entire movie. So it was basically basically telling them you guys should go to Hellbent until the people actually took them to Hellbent by kidnapping them in the RV by putting small um, gas in there. And so they start freaking out because they wake up at four o'clock in the, in the PMs, about to say in the AMs, but it's in the PMs. And um, they wake up at 4 o'clock in the PMs, and we're like, where are we? Like, we're up at 4 o'clock in the PMs. We got to get to the next haunted house within, like, a couple of hours, and we're, we don't know where we are. Then they open up the windows, and then they see that they're at Hellbent and everything like that. So, apparently, they got there. They got the hellbent without knowing. Anyways, long story short, as they were going through, I really liked the movie. I I started liking the movie at this part because you start wondering, are they really? Is this really? Is this actually a thing, or is this a prank type made situation? If this is actually happening, then why are they, like, so calm and easy walking through there? Because they're just walking through there, looking around, following their instructions. And I get it. Probably a survival factor, not wanting to do anything to get hurt. But then, they're like, but then, they get told to put on jackets and hoodies and everything like that. And I'm like, why would you do that? You get told to put on a jacket and hoodie, right? Why would you do that if you're getting... And then it tells you... To, and it's a zip-up jacket where it zips up to the hood. Uh, zip up the hood area, closes off, and you can't see. 
So, I, at that point, I'm like thinking, okay, this seems like, it, it doesn't seem real. It seems to be faked and made up. To get at someone. And then, uh, and then Dorian, I'm like, is this Brandy trying to get back at them and everything like that? And so, and she just made this all up and everything like that. So, as Brandy was the only one left in the room, she gets followed and she basically sees all four of her friends die and get killed. And, and yeah. So, at the end, she walks out and then they're like, Surprise! It's us! And then I'm like, wait a second. They faked that whole entire thing, even telling Brandy that, no, 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 no. Don't worry, we're not going to do this, this, and this, and that. They faked it all? You guys are some hardcore actors or something. I'm like... But, yeah, so after all that stuff happened, Brand. Brandy pulled a little payback on them by pretending to pow and and having a blood packet exploded and everything like that. It was it was very well done. Um because she figured out that spoiler alert, which you guys already know my reviews have spoilers. Good. If you guys have been following me ever since, my reviews have spoilers, guys, by the way. Um, but she figured out that basically they were behind the fourth one, uh, the first one as well. Getting buried alive, alive and everything like that. And, and, but the cops were called, which they weren't supposed to be and everything like that. So, yeah. So this is was basically saying, part two is saying, hey, Brandy, come with us and all that stuff. So my, uh, and so that's basically the whole premise of it. My thoughts on it was that it had a very slow beginning, but rapidly increased during, rapidly starting to increase, and everything like that. It was cool that how they were starting to introduce the fact that they, that the people that kidna kidnapped them in the first movie were coming back, because... If you see as they're uh, panning over, because this is like a found footage type film, so it's first person per, uh, point of view, everything like that. You can't see anything else. And as they're f panning over, you see like the person that was in the first one, the, the little girl with like little strands of hair and like this porcelain glass doll look on her. And you see her in the um, footage, or you see her in the distance and stuff like that, which was really well done. Thing I didn't like about it is that what I I got confused because if this was originally planned out, done like that, would does that mean that the girl was? A figment of her imagination or what was the girl planned out and because reason why I'm saying that is because at the end she told Brandy to get payback on them and to pretend to pop herself and everything like that and so that's that's what they did and but the thing is if I it, it's just really confusing I'm making this more confusing, but anyways, that's what I liked about it, and what I didn't like about it, it was the thing I'm just saying, it's like, it's really confusing how they technically, quote unquote, did it, and everything like that, um, another interesting thing I liked about it is that they, they played it back, and they have showed footage of the first one, and everything like that, which is great, I loved it, I loved that. So basically, it's basically saying like it 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 was the girl showing Brandy everything that happened. So I guess that was really good too. I guess on for me, it wasn't it wasn't scary enough for me. I guess 
The first one executed it well with the jump scares and everything like that. This one kind of lacked. Like, as people always say, the second one doesn't always match up with the first one. And I agree with that. So, um, so I got to give this one four corn, four corn cobs out of ten. It was good. It wasn't. It, it was good enough to keep me interested, but it wasn't good enough for me to be late, uh, as soon as it ended, be like, wow, mind blown, I cannot believe that, like, to turn out what, like, the turn out was predict, was predictable, I, I kind of predicted it by saying, like, oh, Brandy's behind this and everything like that, she's just trying to get back at them, but it was vice versa, so I kind of predicted that it wasn't real, it was planned out and faked. So yeah, guys, that's what I think about the house built in October too. Um, as I said, I will try. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. Um, got it. I have my job, my new job, a job that it's awesome, and I keep on hitting my stand. I'm sorry. I love it, and so just basically, guys, it's going to get to the point where. I'm probably going to upload once a week. And if I have time to upload like a little, little like 6 to 10 minute video, then I will. Probably going to be like one horror story or something like that, then I will do that. Um, but yeah, and those videos probably won't be edited like this one because it's a review. And I want to add like clips and everything like that to it. So yeah, so, but, um, but guys... I enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys did too. If you guys are wondering what happened to um, scary stories told told by security guards, if you guys watch my last video, which will be in the description down below or at the end card, um, I took it off because I didn't like it. I didn't like how it was recorded. I didn't like how it was played out and everything like that. I uh, so if you guys want to hear more about it, it's in the video that was before or description down below all that fun stuff so yeah guys thank you all so much for watching and if you guys like what i do on this channel hit that like button if you guys like this video hit that subscribe button and guys i love you all thank you guys so much for watching um big plans for october big hopes for october as well um and everything like that. I just have some big ideas boiling in my head that I'm trying to make it. And I just have to be proactive and make it happen. So, yeah, guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay classy, my friends.